Kelsey and Kendra and today's video is going to be all about cheap slash affordable beauty products that actually work. I thought of doing this video because I do know that we are in the holiday season and a lot of people are going to be Christmas shopping and looking for gifts for other people and it's hard to stay on like a tight budget when it comes to getting things for yourself that you need like necessities when it comes to beauty and we wanted to show you guys all the products that actually work that keep you within your budget you know for everybody out there who's trying who, to save a dollar trying to save a dollar yes yes so I thought this would be the perfect video to do for this time of year and keep in mind that these are cheap slash affordable i wanted to put affordable in here because not everything in this video is just one dollar but it's not like luxury priced mm -hmm. so everything in here is very affordable you can get it at pretty much any drugstore and it's very accessible to everyone okay so first we're going to start with some hair products because that is where our obsession for hair products kind of started at the drugstore definitely well in the beauty supply store too yeah beauty supply store and yeah. also target like we were in that aisle way too much way too, way much. too long yeah mm -hmm. so the first set of hair products i'm going to mention is a shampoo and conditioner from granny fruities and this is their sleek and shine one so kendra and i started using this line when we started out doing our own hair and we, that's basically when we convinced our mom to stop paying for us to go to the hair salon mm -hmm. and just give us the money and we can just go buy our own products and we started out with drugstore because we were in high school and we could not afford to be going to Ulta. And we only had buying time jobs, yeah, minimum buying, wage. Buying salon products, we couldn't afford it then. Yeah. So drugstore products really gave us really good results when we started straightening our own hair. So if you're trying not to break the bank, but you still want a nice, sleek, silky blowout, mm -hmm. then this line is a really, really good line to start out with. And I also see this question a lot when people ask us about when we straighten our hair. How do you get it to not be greasy and stiff? I cannot stand seeing a stiff blowout, like I can't stand it. And that's probably because they use too much product, Maybe the shampoo had too much moisture in it. Too many oils. Too many oils in it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a clear shampoo is where it's at when you're shredding your hair as far as the drugstore. Most of the time. Yeah. Because it's going to get rid of all the buildup in your hair so that you can have like the silky flowiness to your hair. Now high end, I feel like all kinds of shampoos work. Pretty much. Like the mm -hmm. salon brand. Yeah. But it's a hit or miss with drugstore yeah. shampoos and conditioners and this Garnier, Garnier Sleek and Shine is probably one of the best. They are one of the best, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get better smell results. smell bomb, too. It's Garnier Fruitis, of course. It smells it's amazing. amazing. I have not smelled anything from this line that stank. That smells bad. Yeah. Like, they are really, really good with scents. I hope I explained that well. I hope that wasn't confusing to anybody because... I just get that question a lot about like, how do you not have like a stiff blowout? How do you have or... better like salon-like results? Exactly. Yes. And speaking of amazing drugstore shampoos and conditioners, another fave that actually works that's pretty affordable, and these are pretty cheap. They're like, these were like three bucks each at Target. And this is the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Back in the day, they used to be called the Damage Therapy Damage Shampoo therapy. and Conditioner from Dove. And it was like a navy blue it bottle. Was, yeah, if y'all remember the navy blue bottle, mm -hmm. I was obsessed with that line. Like, mm -hmm. I used that over and over. I remember the first time I used it. Yes. The very yeah. first time I used it, I remember I did my hair. We went to my grandma's house this day. Why does this matter? I just remember I vividly. Remember it. I Chelsea just was too. touching my hair like she was sitting in a chair and I was sitting on the floor. Yeah. And she just had her fingers in my hair and she was yeah. like... Your hair is so silky. Yes. Like, I was like silky is the word. And that's the first time you had tried the Dove shampoo that conditioner. That was the first time I Before it. I tried it. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can't wait, wait to go home and do my hair. It was so good. It was so silky. It felt like I had just left the salon. Like, it that's really how it did. felt. Yeah. And I wonder why they changed the it name. It smells phenomenal. Like, I'm obsessed with Dove products anyway, but their hair products are amazing. Now, this shampoo does have, like, a creamier texture. It's not... It's clear. like a pearl. It's finish. like a pearlized. But it's shampoo. not greasy or anything mm -hmm. like that. Not at all. Um, this does say for damaged hair. So at the time I was in dire need for it. Um, this says nourishing system that rebuilds damaged hair from within. Dove has some really good hair products. Um, I highly recommend this line in particular because yeah. this is the one that gave me the results that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And it smells amazing. It still lingers after you rinse the conditioner out. Oh, like I can yeah. still smell the Dove products in my hair afterwards. Mm -hmm. so. These smell a little bit stronger and they linger yeah, a little bit longer than the Garnier ones. Yeah. So yeah. I highly, highly recommend the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I, I promise you, you won't regret it. 
I don't know how long most of you have been watching us, but if you have been watching us from the very beginning, then you know about this next product. This is the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Daily Deep Conditioner. This used to be in a jar, but they recently, not recently, but the past maybe like two years. You might still be able to find it in the jar though. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. But most, mostly you're going to see it in this like squeeze bottle, which I actually prefer because it comes out easier because I'm not going to lie, the jar is kind of... I like the jar. I hate scooping because I have nails. I want to get every bit of the product though. And sometimes oh, when yeah, you squeeze, true. you can't get every but last bit. But I cut bit. something like this open to get all my deep conditioner out. Okay. Get your money's worth, okay? But this one is really, really nice. It's not too, like, thin or it's not too thick. It's like the perfect balance. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's anybody... Whippy. Yeah, kind of whippy. Mm -hmm. Anybody can use this. I feel like it's pretty much for any hair type. It is. And it makes your hair so soft when you rinse it out like butter. Like, mm -hmm. this works just as good as my high-end deep conditioners. And I guess I can compare this to my uh, Redken... What's that? It smells like bananas. All soft? No. It's in the gold bottle. Gold bottle? Gold, goldish brown bottle. I'll put it right here. I can't remember the exact name right now, but I can compare it to that. And my hair feels very similar when I rinse this out to when I use that deep conditioner. It's from Redken. It smells like bananas. But it costs way more than this. And this smells phenomenal. That's going to be a theme with the drugstore hair products. They smell pretty amazing. Yeah, they do. But it doesn't have like a very strong scent. This is very light, 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 understated, mm -hmm. kind of like lotion, but like a very sweet smelling lotion. Um, this says triple moisture because it does have three main ingredients in it that give your hair nice moisture. So it has olive. It says to penetrate the center. Metal foam seed to, to help moisturize the middle. And sweet almond wraps the surface. So almond oil is really good for your hair. It's actually one of the most lightweight oils you can use on your hair. That and I think jojoba oil. Um, jojoba is like very similar to the sebum in your scalp that is already produced. I know I'm getting kind of scientific, but I'm it's just true. letting y'all know the right. benefits of jojoba oil. But this is really, really good. It says Neutrogena Professional at the bottom. So like Kelsey said, it's funny you said it works like a red can deep mm -hmm. conditioner. Mm -hmm. And it says Neutrogena Professional. So it has that professional quality to it without mm -hmm. the professional price. I want to shout out a curly hair product that is the cheapest gel that I probably have ever purchased that actually works in my hair. Because I have tried other gels that are pretty cheap, but my hair turns out horrendous and I regret it immediately and I just always want to go back to my pricey expensive ass gel because they're <laughs> the only ones that work. And then when I saw this, I was like, uh, I guess I'll give it a try because yeah. I get kind of scared when it comes to curly hair products. <laughs> Y'all know it takes a long time to like get the best wash and go. Yeah. And when you get it, you don't want to go back to other like new, go to new things. Yeah. Because when you perfect it, you just want to kind of stick with that. Yes. Routine. And it takes a long time for our hair to dry. So we air dry and you don't want to air dry for no reason. Yes. Spend hours and you hate your hair. That yes, has happened to me a lot. That's the worst. It happened to me a lot. So this product is by the brand Cantu, which is a shocker because I'm not the biggest fan of their product. Not at all. Um, this is the Cantu Shea Butter Maximum Hole Strengthening Styling Gel with Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This product is like under $5 at Target. I was surprised when my hair came out really nice and defined and it was not crunchy. Because mm -hmm. most gels, it does come out crunchy, which, which I don't mind. I actually like the crunch because my hair will last longer usually. But my hair dried actually surprisingly soft with this product and it was super defined. And it actually got better as the days went on. I actually liked my wash and go like as my hair was like getting older, like three, four or five day hair. So I highly recommend this product if you're on the hunt for a nice wash and go styling product if you are a gel person or if you're not because Kelsey tried this and she liked it too and yes. she doesn't really like gels like I do. So Very small amount. Um, yeah. Like I can count on one hand how many gels I actually like. You don't like gel like that. I can count on one hand. Like I have a top four. Okay. Okay. But not that's like you. A lot I'm you. not like a gel user like you are. Yeah, that's Like, true. I don't need a gel to do my hair every single time. Right. I feel like you do. Yes, because otherwise my hair just be on a ponytail. <laughs> so, this says no alcohol, crunch, flakes, or itch. And that is actually true. So, I highly recommend this. I don't know what's in it to make it not flake. Because most cheap gels that I have used always flake. Flaky. Yeah. And it just... Crusty and dusty. Yeah, and you be having like dandruff. It looks like dandruff, but it's not because you just washed your hair, but mm -hmm. it looks like you ain't washed it in forever. Mm -hmm. It's just a hot, complicated mess. Yeah. And then the last hair product that we want to briefly mention is like one of the first heat protectants that we've ever used from the drugstore. And I think it's probably the only. Tresemme heat protectant spray, and you can use up to 450 degrees of heat. Mm -hmm. I think I use 410 though. 
I don't think I use that much. Uh, but this has been working the exact same for years. It's consistent. It's very consistent. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It's very lightweight. It smells good. It smells good and it works. Uh -huh. um, so Kendra and I have been using this for years. If you guys have watched all of our hair routines, like our straight hair routines throughout the past couple of years, then you have seen this in that video. Uh -huh. This, it, it ain't going nowhere for us. Yeah. It's bomb. I don't care how many high-end products I, if I <laughs> use in my routine. This will always stay in there. Right before flat iron. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to move on to body and skin care, which is, are two of my favorite categories in beauty. Yes. So we're just going to go with body because everybody wants to be clean and moisturized. So first, I want to mention a body wash. This isn't a like end all be all scent, but this brand in particular. This is Dial, and this is their spring water hydrating body wash. I highly, highly recommend the Dial brand if you are trying to stay on a budget when it comes to your hygiene products. And I know shower gels and body wash can get pretty pricey, and there's so many in the aisles, and you'd be like, seven dollars? No, buy. I'm not buying that. <laughs> Five dollars? No, I'm not buying that. This is like three dollars, and if you do want to get a bigger like packaging and go ahead and like spend like six seven dollars they a have pump. a huge huge mm -hmm. pump size mm -hmm. that lasts forever yeah we both have the lavender one it smells bomb. which is actually my favorite scent the lavender one is amazing mm -hmm. but this one is the spring water i feel like i was using this one for years i like this this one smells nice too though yes it's just a very clean crisp simple scent so it does say moisture balance on here so it's not super dry but you still feel like that squeaky clean yeah i don't know about y'all but i still i like to be moisturized in the shower like i don't want my skin to feel stripped but at the same time i don't want to feel like i just bathed in oil yeah i just you like a nice balance i still want to feel clean so this says moisture balance it says moisturizing clean rinsing rich lather so it says dial healthier skin healthier you so dial is a really good brand that's not super super pricey and they have more than one scent they do have a their original like what's the color like gold and what's the gold one it's like a brown i know their hand soap is pretty popular it's like that one that version of i never use that one i, I have used this one. one and the lavender and i also have used their moroccan oil one that one is really good if you can find that one Pick it up. It's bomb. They don't it's have it everywhere. Find, yeah. Yeah. That you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, but Dial is a really good brand for body wash if you guys are looking for an affordable, you know, body wash brand. Okay. So after you get out of the shower, of course, you need to moisturize. So the next product is also an oldie but a goodie. And if you guys have been watching us for like maybe the past four years, four and a half years, then you know we have been obsessed with Nivea. It's essentially enriched body lotion. Navy bottle. Well, navy, blue, royal blue, whatever. Dark blue bottle. This is where it's at. Uh -huh. Y'all know. If y'all know, y'all know. A lot of people was talking about this after, but I feel like we put y'all on low key because I saw a lot of people talking about this after years later. But me and Kendra have been using this for years. And yeah, we're obsessed. We're obsessed. I actually started out using the body cream first before the lotion. The one so that my, came in like the jar. The thick one. That some people like use as moisturizer for, for their, their face. face. Oh. I was using that on my body actually. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well this, I feel like it, like I haven't found another drugstore lotion that works as good as this. Uh -huh. It just gives you a really nice like shiny glow, glow, uh -huh. but not greasy. Yeah. You don't feel greasy uh -huh. and it's lightweight. It's not super thick. So it's you're not, not going to be like rubbing for days, uh -huh. but you're still going to stay moisturized after. Yes. Because I know some people buy lotions that are thinner because they don't want to rub all day, but them lotions, you'd be ashy in like five minutes. Yes. Suave. Uh-huh. I don't even know why people still use Suave. Suave got a lot of water, has a lot of water. And I, Maybe that's I know what it the is. Vaseline brand lotions, I haven't tried one that I like from them either. No, the Vaseline lotion suck too. Yeah. Don't buy that either. Nivea is where it's at. Uh -huh. um, it's probably a little bit more than those brands, but it's for a reason because you're still going to be ashy after you use them. Um, and I also think it's because this has almond oil in it. So it's probably what gives you that nice glow. Uh -huh. So it's long lasting moisture. Deep moisture, that's uh -huh. what it says. Uh -huh. um, it also says it dramatically reduces dryness and improves skin condition over time. Uh -huh. So it's also a good lotion just to use over time to improve your skin. Um, and like the health of your skin uh -huh. as far as like the appearance of it. Yeah, how like it looks. Some people can look a little dull and it might be your lotion. <laughs> that's very true. It's so serious. Like if you uh, change your lotion, I'm, I'm telling you, your moisturizing game going to be, you know, up a few levels. With this. Saying, with that. 
So we're gonna back it up a little bit back into the shower and I wanna mention a body scrub for you guys cause I feel like even when you're on a budget, you should not skip exfoliating. I just feel like it's essential. I don't remember what my skin felt like before I started exfoliating and I don't wanna remember because the results you get from exfoliating, like you won't not do it in the shower. You just wanna be consistent with it and you're gonna see a huge difference. So I know body scrubs can get very pricey and I know there's so many different ones and it can get kind of overwhelming. Like some are like very fine, some are more abrasive. I prefer an abrasive one and the best brand that you will ever get out there, high end, low end, whatever, is Tree Hut. Yeah, this works better than some of my high end scrubs. Yes. And this is their Shea Sugar Scrub. The Moroccan Rose is my favorite scent. I have quite a lot of scents and I always go back to this one because it's just and comparable to my other scents. They have a lot of really good ones. They're very fragrant, they're very rich and potent. Like none of them are understated. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for like an understated, like soft smelling uh, body scrub brand, this is not for you. No. Because they all smell very extra. It, but they smell so good though. I love, I just started using a vitamin C one, it's orange. I like the vitamin C one, you smell like a Glade plug-in, but it still smells so bomb. <laughs> so I like the vitamin C one and I also like the- That's accurate. The it's like a turquoise one. It's in my shower right now. I like the blue one, the Belize one. Are you talking about the Pukui one? Maybe that's what I'm talking about. That one. I like that one. They too. have a lot of really good ones, and I also like the lychee and plum one. That one is I was amazing. Just gonna, the purple one. I was just gonna ask you what the purple one was. The I asked one, her because she'd be known. I'd be known. <laughs> so the Moroccan rose and the lychee and plum are my absolute favorites. I put you onto the purple one. Yeah, I like purple. And one. I think you put me onto the green one. Yes, I yeah. did. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend it. It's a scent for everyone. They even have like sweeter scents. They have like vanilla and mm -hmm. coffee and cocoa and all those kind of warmer scents. So yeah. if you're into that, you can check those out. And I always get mine at Ulta. Ulta, yeah. Or you can find them in Walmart as well. Mm -hmm. So if you shop at Walmart a lot, then check out some Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub so you won't regret it. And they are less than I think like $6. Yeah. It's nothing better than these, honestly. So these are the best. Even high end. Okay, so if you don't buy any body product in this video, which I still recommend you do because all these are worth purchasing, yes. please buy some coconut oil. This product is the best multi-use product that you will ever, ever use and need in your life. Like, if this is in your bathroom, if you need a hair mask, here you go. If you need a body moisturizer, here you go. That's what I use it for. If you need it for your eyelashes, here you go. The only thing that I will recommend not to use this on is your face. Because I can't stand seeing people use coconut oil. To remove makeup. To remove makeup. Stop this doing is that. not a cleansing oil. This is not no. a cleansing balm. No. This is not a face product. It's very clogging. It's going to clog your pores. Yes. If you don't see um, any damage to your skin right now, you will later on. Over time. Over time. But I don't recommend using coconut oil on your face because... Mm -hmm. It can break you out, it can clog your pores and cause some congestion like underneath. Yeah, my dermatologist says stay away from coconut oil. Yeah, on your I don't face. hear good things about coconut oil in the skincare world. Mm -hmm. um, I don't hear estheticians recommend it or no. anybody. So mm -hmm. the the you know, decollete down, you all good. Mm -hmm. I promise you. For your body, this is an amazing, amazing moisturizer. Mm -hmm. And it lasts so long if you get a big jar like I did. And you can find this any at any grocery store. So that's the best part. It's affordable. You can find it anywhere. If you need a smaller size just for you at home, if you need it for your whole family, here you go. So <laughs> yeah. it's really, really good, obviously, for cooking, but it's amazing for your body. So this is really, really good of a product. For your hair and for your body, this is where it's at. Okay, so my next go-to cheap product is something that I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama has used or picked up or saw in the store. Aquaphor. You can use this on pretty much anything. This is like the bougie Vaseline in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It says it's a healing ointment so you can use it on your lips. You can use it on your feet if you have very dry feet especially this time of year when it's cold outside. This is excellent for that. I use this on my lips and I also use it in between my um, fingers because I have really dry hands. My hands get super dry. I have to constantly put lotion on them. I low-key got put onto this more recently for like healing things because I use something that's a little bit more expensive, like the the pharmacy. What's the name of the stuff? The pharmacy honey salt. Oh, honey salt. Okay. That is like the bougie version of this, low key. But yeah, you said this is the bougie version of Vaseline. It's levels. Okay. It's levels to this. <laughs> I'm getting laser tattoo removal, and they give this to you at the laser tattoo place, and. 
when I first used it, I was like, why are they giving me Aquaphor? Ain't that for your lips? I was so confused. <laughs> But I didn't realize that people also use it like all over their bodies. It's so multi-purpose. That's why reading is fundamental. It just says for dry, cracked, or irritated skin, meaning anywhere. I have used this on like, I have like a dry spot that I've been having on my nose recently. I don't know what it is, but it won't go away. And I put this on it and this helps it to like not be as like dry irritated. and irritated. Mm -hmm. So this didn't irritate that area, but I do not put this all over my face because I'm scared of what might happen. I don't trust it for that. Uh, but if you have like a spot on your face or area that's irritated and just like it's super dry, like around your nose, it's also a good area to use mm -hmm. this. Um, I highly recommend. I also see a lot of people with eczema that use this. So Aquaphor is just an all around really good product. And it's also really good if it has an expiration date on it. It's fragrance free, I see too. Well, yeah, which is why dermatologists recommend it. Because mm -hmm. I know dermatologists don't recommend they fragrance. They stay away from fragrance yeah. when it comes to putting anything on your, your face. So that's a good sign if you want to put it on your face. Okay, so speaking of Vaseline, that is my next cheap beauty product that actually works. So <laughs> Vaseline, like coconut oil, is very multi-purpose. You can use it on your lips. I see people use it on their lashes, but I haven't it's tried that. Thick, I, I feel like it's too thick. I would go for castor oil or coconut oil for your lashes. I do castor. Um, yes. My lashes are finally growing back after lash extensions. Yeah, I, I didn't want to. I wasn't tempted at all. I ain't doing it no more. But this one in particular is really, really nice. This is the Rich Conditioning Petroleum Jelly, a.k.a. Vaseline. I think people forget that Vaseline is petroleum jelly. <laughs> But this cocoa butter one is where it's at. I like the cocoa butter one because it has a nice hint of sweet smell to it, but it still smells like gasoline if y'all know what gasoline smell like. But it's very multi-purpose. I like to use I it on my cocoa. Feet. Yes, you do. When you rub it in, you smell it more. But this is really good for your lips. It's amazing for your feet, like your heels in the winter time. You slather a bunch of this on and put on some like nice fuzzy cozy socks. I can't sleep in socks. I feel um, Ooh, restricted. No. Mm -mm. I can't do it. But this is really good if you have dry cracked feet. Also, it's an amazing lip mask depending on if you put like a thick layer on it oh, yeah. on your lips. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to buy like the pricey lip mask that everybody's constantly using these days, I feel like there's a variety of lip masks out there. This I love is the it. original lip mask. It really is. I lowkey feel like a lot of lip masks probably just has this in it. I'm sure they do have petroleum jelly in yeah, it. Yeah, they just call it something different. Yes, so I highly recommend this. There are other scents, but I like the cocoa butter one. They do have a rose one and like the mini one that I saw you use. I use that one at night sometimes. Um, but that bomb. this is super duper cheap. You can get like an even smaller one. You can keep it in your car. Like it's mm -hmm. very, very affordable. Like I've seen this like as cheap as like 99 cent depending on the uh, where you buy it in the size. Okay, so sticking with skin, next I'm going to mention this cleanser. This is the Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser. This is one of the best drugstore cleansers in my opinion, and I feel like I've seen the most results from this cleanser. And this is excellent if you have oily, acne-prone skin. Uh -huh. If you have dry skin, do not even bother picking this up because you will hate it. But if you have oily, acne-prone skin, you will love this. Um, I'm almost done with this bottle. I think this is like my second bottle of this stuff and it's a really nice cleanser. It just says it clears breakouts and it's naturally derived from grapefruit extract and it has salicylic acid acne treatment in it, mm -hmm. which is great for a chemical exfoliant. So it's salicylic. Very yeah. So my skin reacts pretty well to salicylic acid. So this is a really good cleanser. It's pretty bomb. And it smells so good so and good. fresh mm -hmm. and just like you just cut open a nice juicy summer. juicy grapefruit mm -hmm. yeah i use this more so in the summertime because my skin is more oily in the summer of course so this is a really good go-to summertime cleanser you can use it in the morning time or night but i have heard that if you use any form of salicylic acid it's best to use it in the cleanser form um if your skin is more sensitive too so it's still good to incorporate it in your skincare routine because you're starting with a cleanser but you're not leaving it on mm -hmm. so it yeah. still gives you the benefits but you don't have to like leave it on your skin like overnight or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because you're just like washing your face and then rinsing it off after 60 seconds. Yeah, that's a good uh, point to make. Because I started out with this, but then I started using a salicylic acid toner that I use now. It's a like more like medical grade brand. But I did start with this first and it kind of prepared my skin to use a salicylic acid toner. So this is gentle enough for sensitive skin. Okay, so my next product, I've bought so many of these. It is the Dickinson's Witch Hazel, original Witch Hazel. This is the Pore Perfecting Toner, so the yellow one. The yellow one is still my favorite. It's the original one. 
They have a hydrating one now, which is pink, and they have a blue one, which is for like oily skin. It's it astringent though. Yeah, and it, it broke me out actually. It didn't do anything to my skin. I actually still use it in the morning sometimes. Really? I like how it makes my face feel cool. But the original is a no-brainer. I feel like anybody can use this. It just says it's fragrance-free. It's gentle skincare, gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin without over drying. And that's exactly what it does for my skin. I use this at night. Um, I use it in rotation with my salicylic acid toner from Obagi and this is just excellent. I've been using it for years. I actually like this one better than the, the other Dickinson's one in the square rectangle oh, bottle. The white top? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like this one better, me personally. Some people like that one better. I just feel like it depends on like how your skin reacts to it. Mm -hmm. But this is my personal favorite and I feel like it's not super super expensive when it comes to toners because I feel, I've seen toners that go up in price on Sephora uh -huh. and I'm like this is a waste of money it's just you can toner. just use witch hazel and some people don't even use toner because some people don't have to use toner oh I feel like I have to yeah uh, but this is bomb no brainer love it okay so another Neutrogena product I wanted to mention you guys have also heard Kendra and I talk about this for a couple of years this is the Neutrogena clear pore cleanser slash mask we use this as a mask. I've used it as a cleanser a couple of times, but I just prefer to use it as a mask. And it's very bomb. minty feeling. It feels so good Holy, on your skin. It feels like a spa. Very minty. And it's really good if you have any breakouts or feel any breakouts emerging. Coming, it dries them out because it does have benzoyl peroxide in it, which is great for like just attacking any bacteria. Uh -huh. Because benzoyl peroxide is like the more gentle version of alcohol, low key. It cleanses and gets rid of bacteria in a more gentle form. Okay, so my next product is a liquid liner and I want to mention a liquid liner because it's very few liquid liners at the drugstore to me that work well and that are cheap. But honestly, this is the cheapest that I found and it works better than like L'Oreal, Maybelline because those are more like $5.99, $7.99, $8.99. This is a dollar. This is by NYC. This is their liquid yeah. liner and it works better than all of those liquid liners. It doesn't flake. It goes on super easy. The application. Very, very, very black. Extremely black. It's not off black. It's not charcoal. It's black. It's the blackest liquid liner at the drugstore and it's the cheapest. So I was like, how can they get this so cheap but it works better than any other drugstore liquid liner? Mm -hmm. Honestly, this works just as good as my high-end liquid liners too. Mm -hmm. um, this is just bomb. NYC is where it's at when it comes to liquid liner at the drugstore. Nothing can beat it to me. It's bomb. Okay, so I have one liquid lipstick to mention. This is from L'Oreal. You guys have heard me talk about this in a favorites video. I've used it in a couple of makeup tutorials. This is in the color number 428. I forgot the exact name of these, like this actual line, but we'll have the exact name in the description box. But I'm obsessed with these because they're very like light. They're not super thick thin very thin kind of watery mm -hmm. and you can build the color up i just like the formulation of this because it's very easy to work with because i feel like sometimes when a liquid lipstick is too moussey you kind of have to go back in with your lip liner to kind of get rid of some of that like color a little bit because extra color yeah because when you're darker skin you kind of have to like mix your colors to make it work for yes. you but i feel like this is perfect like the color is really pretty it's kind of like a peachy undertone with with a hint of nude because I don't like too much nude in my liquid lipsticks. Uh -huh. This is just perfect, beautiful, like terracotta color. And the formulation is just bomb and it doesn't flake. That's also my issue with a lot of like drugstore liquid lipsticks. They're very drying and they flake and your lips just feel like uh, the Sahara Desert. But this to me is the best and cheapest one that I have that works just as good as my expensive ones. Okay, so my very last cheap beauty product that actually works is y'all probably guessed it right if y'all been watching this video the whole way through and assuming that it should be in here and you were right it's carmex so <laughs> this is the best cheapest lip balm that you will ever ever try in your life this is the classic lip balm medicated so i'm not a fan of the one with spf like the cherry spf ones for some reason it tastes weird like, I don't know. I just It just tastes weird. Like, once it gets in my mouth, I just feel weird. I don't like it. And it doesn't have the minty feel. It doesn't have the minty feel. Mm -hmm. And the formula feels slightly thinner. Mm -hmm. This one is thicker, thicker. And it feels more moisturizing. I noticed that, too. So, I like the formula of the original classic 
car makes the best there's nothing like this one so they have like other new ones that they came out with like a winter mint and all this other extra stuff peppermint some mint <laughs> i don't want that just give me the original <laughs> this is a dollar pretty much anywhere you go you can get this in packs you can get this as gifts for people it works on everybody because no one should want dry chapped lips and this is perfect for the winter time i remember the first time I ever used Carmex, it was in the colder months. And I remember the minty, like, cold feeling that it gave my lips. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's just very nostalgic when I use this now. Yes, during high school. Yes, and it almost feel, kind of, feels kind of plumping. has a plumping effect also. So I really, really love Carmex. And it's super dirt cheap. You can get it at any drugstore. And they have, like, the twist-up chapstick version. I like that one, And, too. like, the, um, mm -hmm. the pot version. I like the... That's the one I started using. You started using I that I started one. using the pot because I used to get cold sores like every single year around the exact same time. Oh, you did? So I would stock up on the pot one. I love this one. I have one in my car. I have one in the bathroom. I have one in my nightstand. I have Carmex everywhere. So, highly recommend. Oh, yeah. Speaking of cold sores in conjunction with one of the products Kendra talked about, I haven't gotten a cold sore in about two years. Knock on wood. No. Yeah. No but... But coconut oil does help get rid of cold sores. I think because it's antibacterial. Yes, it does help get rid of cold sores. If so, if you just take a little bit, if you feel it coming, because if you know if you get cold sores, you can feel it coming, and you just already aggravate it before you even see it, just take a little bit of coconut oil and rub it on the area, and it should not come. I'm just saying, it, it worked for me. And the last product that I have, Kendra actually got me this. She put me onto these. These are from Amazon. They are from NK Makeup. Never heard of the brand. The camera put me on to It's probably a beauty supply store brand. I feel like I've seen something like this at the beauty supply store and I probably would have picked it up in there too. Mm -hmm. But camera put me onto these. These are their lip gel. They're basically lip glosses. It has vitamin E in it. This is the bubble gum one. This is my favorite one. I like the cherry one. Y'all, it makes your lips the best lip gloss. So plump cheapest. and so pretty. I like the bubble gum one because it smells like pop rock candy. It's like a good no makeup lip gloss. Yes, like I love putting this on like the days I'm not wearing any makeup mm -hmm. and my natural oils oils are coming in not too much, just a little bit, you know. So like I have a natural highlight, and you just plump this on your lips. We'll pop this on your lips so they can look plump, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm just obsessed. You can get them in a pack. I got them in a pack on Amazon and. Did you I read have, reviews? Because like sometimes no, the, I read reviews. I was just these don't work that well. I was just reading good. like the description and what it does, and it was saying that it was hydrating, and I it saw is. that it had vitamin E, mm -hmm. and I saw it had like some flavors that sounded like that I would like them. So and the bubble gum and the cherry one are bomb. They also have a clear one. I have a clear one too. So if you they work the same as the color yeah, ones. Yeah, I like this one because it kind of gives my lips a, a tint. tint. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you want your lips to have like a little bit of a tint, the yeah. color ones are really nice. Yes. Um, so I like this too because I feel like if you see something like this at the, at the beauty supply store, sometimes like the roll-on ones. Oh, that's the old school that we used to use. The chicken grease ones. She used to call them chicken grease because it make your lips look like you've been eating chicken. But they literally last for like five minutes. Yeah, they don't last at all. This lasts on your lips for at least a good hour. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to keep reapplying It's this. on the thicker side, but it's yes. not too sticky. It's, it's not, not too super sticky. sticky. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It feels just nice and like silky on the lips. It's like a silky gel. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So that wraps up our cheap beauty products that actually work video. It was basically a drugstore uh, essentials, but I thought this title was more interesting. And I wanted you guys to know that there are cheap beauty products that are worth buying that are not a waste of money. Because I still feel like even if something a dollar and it don't work, I still wasted my money. Yes. I wasted my dollar. You did. So you don't want to waste any of your pennies <laughs> at all. And all these products are definitely worth purchasing. We will link everything in the description box or if you just want to make a list, go to Target, go to your local Walmart. And just, you know, go to town and purchase all these amazing goodies that we talked about today. And you guys can stay within budget for your upcoming holiday shopping trips. Yes. And not feel like you broke the bank with buying extra stuff for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We hope you guys found this video helpful. Let us know if you want like a opposite version of this video. Because I thought it would be fun to do that. So like a luxury beauty products that are actually worth buying the money, yeah so like not that's a good one. so the opposite of this one pretty much yeah so i thought that would be fun too let us know if you want to see that and we do have more of course holiday themed videos coming up for the month of december we hope you guys kind of like our like holiday background that 
we decided to put together. Yeah, we'll be trying. Yeah, I wanted it to look a little bit different than our normal background, mm -hmm. so I thought that look that would look cute. Yeah, so I thought it was cute too. We put it together, and mm -hmm. yeah, we hope you guys you know appreciate it. Yes. Oh, and by the way, vlogs are back on the vlog channel on Glam Twins TV. Mm -hmm. If you guys have been looking for vlogs, we did just recently upload a new vlog. So go check that out if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. We were going to wait till 2020, but I was getting messages from people saying, girl, we just want the vlogs back on the vlog channel. So I was like, okay, I got you, boo. Mm -hmm. So they're back on the vlog channel. Yes, and our most recent vlog, we're putting up our Christmas trees. So if you want to see like a nice half hour of us, putting up our christmas decorations yeah. and two of our trees because we do have two christmas trees the vlog channel will also be linked down below for you guys to check out yes so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time